Yo, what's going on guys? JBH here today back on R Factor 2 where we are once again in the Formula 3 category and what is this sort of recreation of the 2020 Austrian Grand Prix that I've got going on this week. So yesterday, managed to get on the podium for the first time in the Formula 2 category. That was on F1 2020 today, switching back over to R Factor 2 for Formula 3. Tomorrow I'll be hitting up the Porsche Super Cup, which will also be on R Factor 2. That's going to be a load of fun because I do love a good Porsche race. From there, I'll go back on to F1 2020 race, the F2 sprint race, and the Formula 1 race itself. So, without any further ado, let's get into this race. I've managed to qualify on 4th, got the difficulty set to 100, damage multiplier set to 100 as well. Setup wise, I've just thrown together something completely random. I don't do too much practice going into these races. I'm more just sort of get my head around the track and then just set the difficulty from there, to be completely honest. 12 laps is the race distance. That is approximately half what one of the races are in real life in the Formula 3 category around here. So here we go. Set off on this formation lap. Alrighty, here we go. Formula 3 on R Factor 2 around Austria. Nailed the start. It is so easy to stall in one of these things. Oh, come on. Hold on to it. Yeah, the bite point is so marginal. We managed to pretty much nail it. Oh, this is going to be sketchy. Into the hairpin for the first time. Uh oh. Ah, oh, Out. Ah, damn it, going backwards. Come on. Ah, cold tires. Aero wash. It's not a good combo. Oh, big send. Ah, uh, squeeze. I don't know if that's entirely legal, but <laughs> we're on our factor two. Why not? Oh, Jesus. Send it. Oh man, I just can't get clear of these the slot around me. Oh, that's a lot of curb. Yeah, it's not been a good first lap. We've got a great start, but I've just been on the wrong side of the road every single corner. Oh, hello. Oh, that's too deep. That's way too deep. No, Joseph, come on. You make a mistake after mistake after mistake. Aero wash is nasty. Just need DRS. Once we have DRS, we can do stuff. Alright, come on. Let's go. Head down. Focus. Still got a long way to go. Whoa! Hello! <laughs> Did he just flip? What the hell? That was properly random. Alright, well, DRS is enabled, but I think the old mate just sent it over the curb and is now on his head. That's a solid effort right there. Struggle to get off there. Right, come on. Oh, no, he's got DRS. No, go away. Way more pace in qualifying. I don't know what's going on in the race. Struggling. Oh, hello. Alright, come on. Let's 
Stop making mistakes. We're we on lap three, so quarter of the way through lap four now. Six, right, so out of the duress zone. Unfortunately, this isn't like what it is in real life in terms of the actual DRS zones. The one that sort of usually goes up the hill, the main one, it's not on, it's just this section in the front straight. This is a slightly older version, I think, of the Red Bull Ring. I'm not 100% sure on which year. But if you have R Factor 2 and want to check it out, links are in the description below. Get a move on here. Away from this group behind me. Do I have damage? I'm so far off the pace, it's ridiculous. That lap is a little bit better. Still nowhere near quick enough. Right, come on, let's go. No, I do really, really like this mod. This mod is so much fun compared to some of the other open wheel mods you'll find on R Factor 2. I mean, it utilizes the DRS. It's the first mod I've actually used that has an operational. So <laughs> DRS that works and their AI know how to use it. Come on, man. Nine. That is nicht gut. <laughs> Slightly overusing the track limits there. Oh well. different to qualifying. This car is so much slower. I don't know what's going on. I didn't change anything. Well, here's what it is. Just got to deal with what we got. Oh, you touch that curb, it just kicks the ass out. Sort it out, lad. That's one thing I don't like about R Factor 2 is the curbs, the way they sort of grab the car. It's not ultra realistic. Nothing for the cars in front of me, but I'm just about keeping the cars behind. Uh, 
Alright, well, coming up to the last lap of the race. Just set my fastest lap, actually. But, yeah, just haven't had anything for the cars in front. Don't know what's going on. Got to change down that extra gear. Yeah, eight seconds behind the car in front. Sort of kept that one and a half, two seconds the car behind. Provided I don't make a mistake. Yeah, it looked like it was going to be an interesting race on that first lap. have not had anything. I mean, they're a good sort of half second quicker than me in front of me, and then the cars behind seem a little bit more inconsistent. But try and hold on to this, hold on to this sixth. Struggling for tire grip here on this last lap. I've used pretty much all of it up. I hate the way it grabs that ripper strip and loses the rear end, but two more corners. Let's just nurse it to the finish line. And a sixth place finish, so not too bad. I would have liked a little bit better considering we qualified what, fourth or whatever it was, but yeah, all round, pretty hectic. Oh, hello. She's. <laughs> Ah, oh, factor two. Never ceases to amaze me. But yeah, thanks guys for tuning in. Stay tuned for more action over the rest of the weekend. We're going to hit up the Porsche Super Cup tomorrow. That's going to be a load of fun. Definitely love the Porsche, especially around here as well, where there's a lot of sort of sort of fast corners and then slow corners and then long straights. So got just about a bit of everything. But yeah, until then, catch you guys later.